Hey loves, it's Britt and in this video I'm going to talk about what it means to have Venus square Mars in your composite chart. So the composite chart is different from the synastry where you're comparing the two charts. I already have a video on all of the Venus Mars aspects in synastry so you can check those out. I think I have a playlist Venus Mars aspects in synastry. No, in this video we're going to talk about Venus square Mars in the composite chart which is a chart based on the midpoints between the two charts. It's like a separate chart of the relationship itself, like a natal chart of the relationship. So this aspect I'm really excited to talk about. I actually wanted to do this video for a long time because there's just so much to say here um, when you have this Venus square Mars aspect um, in your composite chart. So Venus Mars aspects in general tend to be mostly sexual. Um, also creative, but the interesting thing about the square, it's not a wholly negative square. You know, it's not um, an extremely difficult square. It's actually can be one of the more sexier aspects to have in the composite chart um, that can make people feel as a couple irresistibly attracted to each other and the attraction remains throughout the relationship. It does not fade because this is the composite chart. This is who we become as a couple. Um, this is a pretty exciting aspect to have. So it can show that there's such a high level of sexual energy and attraction um, towards each other that um, it can even bring out in both people a more selfish uh, orientation where you can sometimes see that both of the people, not just one person, but usually both of them um, are using each other for pleasure or for gratification or for sex. You know, it, it's not always going to show up in a healthy relationship, right? There are going to be cases where um, two selfish people come together, they have this aspect in the composite chart, and they just are greedy with each other and using each other and it's like all for selfish motivation. So that can happen. Um, but in people that are not generally um, selfishly motivated, you know, it can add a spark. It can add a level of um, where they both are more assertive or more aggressive with each other um, than they would be in another relationship without this aspect. So it can definitely um, bring out sides of people that are surprising or, or shocking. The level of passion and attraction um, and even romantic feeling too can sometimes be stirred with this aspect. It can make the people sort of act out of character even. So it's very common to see this aspect in a romantic relationship, in an affair, um, in an unexpected relationship where you don't, you wouldn't think that the people would like each other, you know, maybe there's something else going on in the composite chart, difficult aspects or whatever, where you wouldn't expect them to be so attracted to each other, but then they are. So it's, um, it's a really interesting one. Um, it, it's been said in some of the books, I think, that it can even make sex more pleasurable. So it's like, because it's a square, the um, passion, the sex, the, it doesn't get boring because they're just kind of constantly getting at each other. And they just, they're, it, it is like, in a sense, two people trying to take from each other, you know, take that orgasm or whatever. Like, it's, it's um, really interesting to see this one show up in a composite chart because of how aggressive the people can get. Now, another manifestation of this is where, so we can have that, or we can have it where one person tends to dominate um, rather than both people. Now, that's going to happen if in the natal charts we have one person who um, has a more leadership or more dominating qualities and the other person um, doesn't, then we're going to see that this aspect shows up as the one person kind of dominating the other person. So that is all good if they are happy with those roles because that can sometimes happen where one person is like the dominant leader and sort of like bossing the other person around. Now, the other person may like that, and this may work for them as a couple, but if the other person resents that, if they don't really want to go along with <laughs> this other person, you know, if they're 
actually lacking in compatibility or respect elsewhere in the natal charts, then this could be an unhappy aspect. So it's it definitely indicates like high levels of passion. It won't, if there isn't enough other compatibility or if the composite chart doesn't have enough longevity, this isn't necessarily going to show that this has to be a relationship um, or it is a long-term connection. It will just show two people that kind of stir each other a lot and there can be passionate feelings, there can be sexual attraction, but this in itself doesn't show um, like relationship compatibility, but then it also does not show that they aren't compatible because like I said, other than the conjunction, um, this aspect of Venus square Mars in the composite chart is like the steamiest sort of um, aspect you can have and it's definitely good for a sexual relationship and it's um, definitely one to be remembered if you are in a relationship with this aspect and then it ends you tend to look back and kind of think like hmm that was hot like it's it was definitely something that you felt and that you remember and it the sensations the um the energy between you is is like spicy and and hot and passionate and so yeah this is one I wanted to talk about because it's very interesting it's not necessarily a bad thing it, it can be very good um as long as the people are happy with their roles now in um, a non-sexual relationship having this aspect would just definitely mean that you need a creative outlet for that energy right if you're not going to be having sex all the time you need a an outlet like so this would be really good for working on some type of project together even as a couple you know you're going to want to have an outlet for this energy right it can sometimes show too that the way that people act is very different you know maybe they have a different set of values the way um yeah what they find pleasure in it may show like different tastes um as well which can make it all the more exciting or all the more frustrating so it's one where both people like i said at the beginning can try to dominate each other um and take from each other and have like more selfish energy can come out in the relationship than maybe in the natals um or if one person is like more strongly the leader then that can be characteristic of the relationship where the one person is always leading the other or bossing the other around and if they like that if that's you know the type of um energy exchange they want to be in then that's all good but one person may end up being resentful of that so yeah a <laughs> super fun aspect Thanks, you guys, for watching. Let me know your experience of this aspect in the composite chart. Was it like this? Was it not like this? Let me know in the comments. Thanks, guys.